Hi everyone, it's Ken from Tire Glider. Just here today to show you a quick video to see how simple and easy it is to change a tire with a Tire Glider. I designed Tire Glider to be a very unique shape and it was a very important reason for this. And that reason was that it fits nicely in the palm of your hand, okay? So once it's in the palm of your hand, what that allows you to do, unlike traditional tire levers, is to use both of your hands to pry this bead away from the rim. Okay. So once you've done that, you get a really, really good purchase on that. And once it's in position there, what I usually do is take my left thumb, place it in the middle, which then allows me to put the tire glider into place. So the moment where I've got this tire glider positioned, all the force of that tire is going through this thinnest part of the tool, which I do not want. What I want to do is scoop it, scoop it under to ensure that all of the tire, or all of the scoop, sorry, is under the tire. And that's all I'm doing is scooping. I'm just scooping a little bit, that's all. So then the tire is right in the corner of the tire glider and that force is now going through the thickest part of the tool and not the thinnest. Once it's in position, that's literally all you do is pull down and you're in position to take the tire off. This is a Schwabble Marathon Plus tire with a wire bead, which is traditionally quite difficult to take off your rim. So, now I'm in this position, as you can see, I've got my fist around the tire glider. I can try and push from here. But what I found and designed is easier if I could just move up a little bit, stand up, bring the tire back. So I'm in this position. Once I'm in this position, what it allows me to do is use the force of my body, not my arm, to push down and take the tire off. And once you do that, you just literally go around and the tire is all the way off. So now you've changed your sealant or your sealant tape or for a tuber setup or your tube. And the next stage now is to put the tire back onto the rim. So what you need to do is pull your tire over to expose the rim edge. Now with the tire glider, you're looking at this gap here. And what you need to do with this gap is fit it onto the rim. You may need to angle it this way for thicker rims. And then it just engages onto the rim. From this position, what I tend to do is use my left hand just to push the tire down into the rim channel and push forward. Okay, now I'm at this position, so I'll show you. We're starting to get tight on the rim. Now again, I designed tire glider as a shape for this reason. So I can stand up a little bit, put your palm on the flat edge here and start pushing down. Once it gets a little bit tighter, what I normally tend to do is take my left thumb and just ease the tire over. And it's on. And that's it guys. It's that simple to change a tire with a tire glider. As you can see, we're in my local park today in wet and windy conditions. And I still took a Schwabble Marathon Plus off and put it back on within less than five minutes. Uh, but please don't just take my word for it. There are over 40 independent reviews on YouTube worldwide with other people using the tire glider in much the same way. Please go, feel free to go ahead and have a look. If you'd like any more information or to order your tire glider today, please check out the website www.tireglider.co.uk and you can email the team at info at tireglider.co.uk.